We believe God. We believe God. We ask what we will, and it shall be done. Trust and obey. There's no other way. We believe. We believe God. Yes, we we believe God. We believe God. We will ask what we will, and it shall be done. Trust and obey. Listen, do you have any prayer requests? Anything pressing in your heart this Saturday night? Yes, it's a few moments before midnight. And maybe something has presented itself during this weekend. And we want to make sure that we're not asking amiss or outside of the Lord's will. In James 4, it gives us a guideline. It says, ye ask, right? We want to ask according to... Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything shall be added. It shall fall in place when you align yourself with the desires of the Lord. Delight yourself in him, right? Because when we do the opposite, we ask and receive not because we ask amiss. It's because of selfish desires. It says the lusts lust of the eye. Maybe we see something we like and we want, you know, pats in the back and accolades or the pride of life or lust of the flesh. No, we don't want that. We want our request to be the good pleasure of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we can have confidence. And while we're waiting for the Lord's will to be revealed, it says in verse seven, submit yourselves, submit to our Lord, to God, and resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You know, all those temptations. He wants to bring you down. He can't stand you. He wants to just destroy you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands. Cleanse yourself, ye sinners, and purify your hearts. Be single-minded, ye double-minded. <laughs> you don't want that. You want to be single-minded. You want to make sure that you are one vertical with the Lord and you present worship continuously and be careful that you understand that the Lord is sovereign. He is ruler. He is leader and he determines our days. So it says our language should be this. If the Lord will, you know, I will do this, you know, tomorrow or next week, Lord willing. That's where we get that language from because we control nothing because of today's date. Ah, he got, I believe God believe because of today's day, we will have gone to Psalms 22, 52, 82, 112 and 142 Psalms 52. Again, we don't trust in riches. We don't trust in this and that and trust in temporary stuff. It says, because in verse seven, when you make your trust, in the abundance of riches and strengthen yourself in wickedness, you won't last. But and the opposite is we are like a green olive tree in the house of God. And what do we trust? Oh my goodness. We trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise thee forever because thou has done it. And I will wait on thy name. Oh, this reminds me. My cousin gave me a scripture in the middle of the night last night. Oh, it was early in the morning. And this blessed my soul, talking about trusting in the mercy of the Lord. Psalms 57, be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. In the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God, most high unto God, that performeth all things for me. Those are prayer requests. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that will swallow me up because I will cry unto God most high unto God that performeth all things for me. Yeah, that's when we're aligned with the perfect will of our Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that your promises are all true, O God. They are yea and amen when we're aligned with your good pleasure. So have your way in our lives. Father, uh, make sure, Lord, just, just, uh, 
search our hearts and our intentions so that we have nothing selfish, no self-aggrandizement, and no type of self-will as far as our requests. We just want to please you in every area of our lives. So have your way. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Oh, I want to read the rest of this. And I know this is going to cut off, but let me just read the rest and then it will cut off. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions and I lie even among them that are set on fire. Even the sons and daughters of men whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongue a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me into the midst whereof they are fallen themselves. Selah. My heart is fixed, O oh God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up, my glory. Awake, psaltery. Awake, harp. Awake, piano. Awake, paintbrush. Whatever is in your hand. Ah, whatever you can worship the Lord with. I, my